What's up, everybody? This is Hector Tech Preacher. So I'm out here in Savannah, Georgia, in my daughter's new home. We got it built from the ground up, uh, and we got a lot here. We in pretty much in no man's land. I mean, it's a beautiful community that's starting up. Well, building the new house and getting everything in rural area that we are in right now, it's networking, right? Uh, me as a business owner, I still have to get work done. I still have to utilize the internet to the full of its potential. Well, y'all guys know that I love Dex. Dex has been the win all be all for me. But in this situation, uh, I know a lot of you guys kind of debate with me sometimes talking about you don't need Dex, only thing you can use is your hotspot. Well, I got two devices here. One that's, that's hitting 5G and one that's on uh, LTE. And I'm going to show you this video, the pros and cons and my thoughts about using Hotspot versus Dex, because Dex has been a win all be all for me. And again, I'm out here in the rural areas, no internet, so I have to get work done. I've, I have to be able to connect my laptop online and do all kinds of different things. But guess what? I got Dex and it works. So let's go to talk about Dex versus Hotspot. Sit back and relax. Get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. Now I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna connect my laptop here uh, to a hotspot and Dex, and we're gonna run speed tests and y'all guys gonna see the difference in speed tests. All right, so I got my overhead camera here. I'm going to run speed test. I got 5G here on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, and I have uh, 4G LTE on the Galaxy Fold 2. All right, so I'm going to turn this around because I got my camera kind of sideways there. I'm going to turn it there, make sure the camera can see this, and I'm going to run speed test on both devices. Now, as you can see, 4G LTE uh, is running a little faster speed than 5G, but 5G is catching up. So looking at looking like 4G LTE is running about 20 megs or so, um, 5G is running about 19 megs. So it's about even Steven when it comes down to 5G versus 4G LTE in the area that I'm in. Now, here's one of the things that uh, 4G LTE and 5G, especially in the area, I'm not getting that uh, good coverage. So um, it doesn't matter. I'm running, you know, 19.9 megs here on uh, LTE, 14.5 uh, megs there on 5G. All right. So what I want to do is I want to use the phone that's on 5G. It's supposed to get better speeds than this, but uh, the, the phone that's on 5G, we're going to hotspot it to my laptop. We're going to run speed tests. I'm going to use the same device and I'm gonna connect it via DeX to my laptop, which is a virtual machine. So uh, we're gonna see and run speed tests uh, with Hotspot versus DeX and run speed tests in the virtual machine environment. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to record my laptop, my screen, and uh, we are going to see what it's all about. So let's go. All right, so the network provider that I use in this video uh, was uh, T-Mobile. 5G and LTE by T-Mobile. Now I did use AT&T, I popped the SIM card in the AT&T and this, the data speeds was still a little funky around you know, 16 megs or whatever. But even with that, using the AT&T hotspot, I was still getting you know, one meg or less than one meg. So it don't matter what carrier you're on, uh, your network speeds would definitely be 1% or 10% of your speed, no matter what. Okay, guys, so I'm recording my screen right here. And one of the things I want to show you guys is that Dex is running in a virtual environment. And right now, Dex is ready to go. But I have my Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. I have this device uh, connected via hotspot. So I, I got my computer connected hotspot on the main screen and in the virtual environment, I have Dex running. All right, so now I have hotspot and I have Dex running. Okay, so let's go to the regular screen here and let's go on and run speed tests right here using the hotspot and uh, let y'all guys see how hotspot works. Okay, so it's taking a little time, okay? And let's go to run speed test. Again, I was running about 14 megs uh, on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra using uh, this, uh, this running speed test on 5G. 
Now, it don't matter if it was on 5G or LTE or whatever, Hotspot will always run maybe 10% or maybe lower in some cases than the actual speed that you're running. So in this case right here, I'm running 0.11 down and 0.60 up. So that's Hotspot, right? Now, let's go into the virtual machine and uh, let y'all guys see in a virtual environment, right? We run a DEX and uh, I want to go to speed test. Okay. All right. So here it is. I'm on DEX and I'm going to run speed test using DEX. Now you're going to see a difference. Now on DEX I'm running the, the same speed that I was running running speed test on the device. So what that means is that the speed here running DEX will be exactly the same as the speed that you're going to run on your device, which is very good because, you know, again, hotspot, a lot of people don't have hotspot. And if you're using hotspot, you may have to pay for hotspot. And even if you had hotspot, you would not run a fraction of the same speed that you will run on DEX. This is why I love, love DEX so much. Not only that I could get all my work done, but now I can get it done with a good, decent speed. Even though I'm in rural area, I can still get decent speed. Now, 20 megs is pretty bad. Well, 16 megs that I'm running here is pretty bad, right? It, did, it do say your internet is fast. But again, I'm running, you know, hotspot on my device. This is the normal thing that a lot of people do, run hotspots on their phones to, to connect to the internet with, with, with your PC or laptop. And here to show you again how powerful DEX is. Now I'm getting a good throughput of, you know, internet speeds based off of my area and it works very well. Now let's go back and see again, using the laptop and we will run a test again, right? And I'm running a test again and I'm getting awful internet speeds here. So it, it goes to show you that it is what it is. You, I'm getting very bad speeds. You know, it's, it's one of the things that hotspots was never designed for fast speed at all. Uh, but a lot of people question me about DEX. I love DEX. DEX works very well. What DEX does is it takes your device and turns it into a PC-like experience on your laptop or a monitor. When you're using it on your laptop or computer, it opens up a virtual machine. Now that virtual machine works great, especially when you got fast internet. That means you, know, you don't need hotspot. You don't need no type of internet access. All you need is your phone. So there you have it. Dex, to me, is a very good tool, especially when you're in a situation where you need to connect your laptop uh, to get internet service, pretty decent internet service. Could you imagine if I was running 100 megs or uh, even good 5G on my device running Dex? That means that my laptop would be running 100 megs down and about 50 megs up or even the high-end 5G speeds. So that one, that's, a, that's a thing to take into account when you talk about fast internet speeds. And in this situation, this is why DEX is so important. Android desktop would not work the same way. Uh, I've made videos about Android desktop. It's, it's, it, it's not that great. The only good thing about Android desktop is on LG devices, which come a little close to DEX. But DEX is a polish um, virtual machine that works very well. And I applaud Samsung for keep updating DEX to make it better, to make it more polished, to run faster. This is one of the reasons why I like DEX. So for business owners, college students, uh, everybody in between that need to run a run internet on a device that does not have internet in their home, here it is, DEX, it works great. This is Eric the Tech Preacher from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about Dex versus Hotspot in all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.